Okay, good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Um, we're going to try something new today where we have a look at a lesson together that I have pre recorded. Um, so today is Tuesday, and I will need you to have a pen or a pencil, um, a piece of paper the worksheet for today um, in front of you whether that's on your screen or on the piece of paper in front of you um, and the powerpoint open that i have already put onto class dojo so pause the video now if you need to and go and collect those things for me and then unpause yourself when you are ready to go brilliant okay so today we are going to be looking at odd and even numbers so to warm our brain up this morning. I would like you to have a look at this first number line for me. So you can see it's a number line from zero to 16. And on your piece of paper, I would like you to note down, write down anything that you can see about this number line uh, that jumps out at you. So pause the video now for me, and I'd like you to have a look at this number line from zero to 16. What can you see about this number line? Okay, fabulous. Now I hope you have lots of wonderful things written down on your piece of paper. Now if I was to look at this number line, I would be able to see that my number line is jumping on two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. Now as I'm saying those out loud, I can hear myself and I can hear that I'm saying my two times table. So that's something I would definitely be writing down. I'm saying my two times table. I can also see that because I'm doing my two times table, I am missing out every other number. So I'm missing out number one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. So my jumps are going every other number and I'm counting up in my two times table. Fabulous, okay. Let's have a look at this second number line for me. So I'd like you to pause the video, have a look at this second number line. And what do you notice about this one? What is similar or what is different about the two number lines that you can now see in front of you? Okay, so if I was to look at this number line here, I can see that it's doing the opposite to this number line at the top. It's done something a bit different. So instead of going zero to two, it's gone zero, one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15. So it's jumping on the numbers that we missed the first time. Good, okay. So let me just skip through this bit for us. If I was to show you our Numericon from 1 to 10, so these are all of our Numericon pieces from 1 to 10. We start all the way over here with this red one at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 is our biggest dark purple piece here at the end. Now these numbers, the ones that are moving and that are shaking, we would say that these are our odd numbers, okay? So one, three, five, seven, and nine are our odd numbers. Now we call them odd numbers because they're a bit strange. I think not quite right about them. What could you think that could be? Why do you think these numbers are the odd numbers? I'd like you to have a, a pause of this video and have a think. Maybe if there's someone else with you, you can discuss with them like your talking partners at school, what, what do you think is different? What is strange about these numbers that you can see that are wiggling here? Okay, now, if I was to separate these two numbers, I can separate them into two groups. These numbers down here that we spoke about a minute ago, these are our odd numbers. Now these numbers at the top, two, four, six, eight, and 10. Now remember again, I can hear the two times table, I'm saying my two times table out loud. These are our even numbers. Now we've come across that word quite a lot recently, even. When we're looking at groups, we have to make sure that our groups are even and equal for them to work. So what do you think we can say about our even numbers? Two, four, six, eight, and 10. What can we say about our even numbers? Well, I can see that all of our even numbers are in our two times table. If I was to write my numbers, above all of these numericon, this green one, um, this orange one here, sorry, would say two. This green one would say four, six, eight, and 10. So these, all of my even numbers are in my two times table. 
Let's take a number six, for example. This piece of Numicon here is our sixth piece of Numicon. Count the circles out loud with me. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Fabulous. We have six holes. This is my number six piece of Numicon. So this is our even number. It is six. Now, because it is an even number, it means that I can split it into equal groups. Now, we've, we've talked a lot about equal groups recently, and you can see, if I go back, the red circles around the numbers show from the dots, sorry, that they have been split into equal groups. How many do I have in each equal group? Fabulous. So you have just told me that we have two dots in each equal group. So I have one, two, three equal groups. And in each equal group, I have two dots. Well done. So we've learned that our even numbers can be split up or divided into equal groups. That's really important. We have divided into equal groups. Okay, let's have a look at this question. So this question is asking us and it's saying, the children are playing a game. They need to get into pairs. Now about that word pairs, what do you think that word pairs means? Tell someone who's next to you maybe, or write it down in your book. So the word pairs means two people. There are two people together. So sometimes in the classroom, Miss Denton will ask you to work with the person next to you, and they are your pair. You are two people together. Fabulous. So it says, do we have an odd amount of children or an even amount of children? Now remember, our odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. They're the, they're the strange numbers, and you can't eat Equally share those numbers. Now remember our even numbers are our two times table, two, four, six, eight and ten, because we can equally share them. So let's have a look. How many children do we have all together? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight times children. Let me think. Let's say my two times table out loud. Two, four, six, Eight. Ah, okay, so eight is in my two times table. So do you think that means they are odd or they are even? Pause your video. I'd like you to have a think for me. Is it odd or is it even? Good, well done. So you can see, as I've changed the slide here, all of our children were able to get into pairs, able to get into twos. So we have an even amount of children. There are no children that have been left without a pair. So they are, there is an even amount of children. This is an equal group. This is an equal group. This is an equal group. And this is an equal group. So well done. We have an even amount of children. We have two, four, six, eight children. Good job. Okay, let's have a look at this one together. It says Jack has to go. The children continue playing. They need to get into pairs. So Jack has to go off. It's time for him to go home. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven children now that are in the playground and they need to get into pairs again. So pause your video for me and have a think. Can these children get into equal pairs? And remember pairs means two children. Have a go, draw circles around them. Can these children get into equal groups? Well done. So as we can see, I've done it as well. I've drawn some uh, circles around our children. Now three groups of my children are equal. This is an equal pair. This is an equal pair. And this is an equal pair. Now, unfortunately, this little boy here didn't have someone to pair up with. So do we have an odd or an even amount of children? Well done. We have an odd amount of children because this child has been left alone. He doesn't have a pair to go with. If we were to count our children now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven children and seven is an odd number. You cannot pair him off with someone else. It is an odd number.
Good. Okay, I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at this question on your own. So it says that there are five flowers. Can these flowers be shared equally between two pots? Now remember, this word is very important, equally. The groups need to be equal. Now the two pots have been drawn for you. Or if you'd rather draw two circles to make it easier for yourself, you can. But I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at this question on your own. Okay, let's have a look at this question together. So we have five flowers and we need to try and share these five flowers equally between two pots. So, one flower, two flowers, three flowers, four flowers. Now, at the moment in my pots, I have an equal amount. I have two flowers in each pot. So I have an even number of flowers in each of my pots, two flowers in each pot. However, I still have one flower that is left. Now I can't put this flower into this pot because then my two groups would not be equal and I would have one odd and one even pot and that would not be equal. So we cannot do that. So five is an odd number because we cannot share it equally between two groups. Okay, another one for you to have a go at. It says there are 12 flowers. Can we share 12 between two pots? So again, pause the video, draw out two circles or two flower pots if you feel like it. Can you share 12 equally between two? Pause the video and have a go for me. Well done. So as you can see, we are able with our two pots to share the flowers equally, which means 12 is an even number. Okay, last one for you to have a go at on your own in your books. This time we have 13 flowers. So again, draw your two circles or your two flower pots and have a go at sharing these 13 flowers out between the two pots. Do we have an odd or even amount at the end? Good, we had 13 and we were unable to put 13 equally between the two pots, so it is an odd number. Good, okay. Now, I would like you to have a go at the questions one to four on your worksheets. Off you go. Okay, welcome back to the video. I hope you, you have had a go at questions one to four on your worksheet and I'm looking forward to marking those later. Now, let's have a look at the next part of this lesson. So the next part of this lesson, we're gonna have a look at this question first. So this turtle here is saying, I know six is an even number because I can split six into two equal groups. So we're going to be having a looking at the number six and whether we think it is an odd or even number. So the turtle is saying six, is an even number because he can split it into two equal groups. So let's see, there's our six and it's been split into two equal groups. So what do you think? If it's been split into two equal groups, is it odd or even? Ooh, well done, yes, it, it, it is an even number because I've split it into two groups and they are both equal on both sides they are equal. It doesn't matter that the cubes are a different colour, they have still been split equally into two groups, so it is an even number. Okay, now this time he's got a little bit confused and he's saying it's a bit difficult, so let's work through it with him. So he says, I know 10 is an even number, but I can't split this 10 into two equal pieces. It's too tough. Now the turtle's got a little bit confused here. He seems to think that we can't split 10 into two equal pieces. Now I know that we definitely can at home. I know that you can do this. So let's have a look at our 10 Numicon. Let's count these pieces together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We have two pieces. Now what I've done for you is I've drawn a line down the middle of this piece of uh, Numericon. So I've split it into two equal pieces. I've made sure that I have the same amount of pieces on this side 
as I do on this side. Now I'd like you to count the pieces along this side for me. So pause this video and count along this one side for me. Okay, well done. Let's count these together just to make sure that we all have the same number. So one, two, three, four, five pieces on this side. So just write a number five underneath so that you remember there is five on each side. Okay, let's have a look at this piece for me. One, two, three, four, five, and write five underneath. So as you can see, each side of our Numericon has five pieces on either side. So we've been able to split it so they are equal groups. However, is five in our two times table? No, it's not, is it? Let's count two, four, six, eight, ten. I didn't say five, did I? So five is not in my two times table. So I can split ten so that it is equal, but if five isn't in my two times table, then it can't be an even number. So five is an odd number. However, I can split 10 into two equal groups. So sometimes I will have a number that can be split into two equal groups, but it doesn't make the answer an, um, an even number at the end. So there we go, it's been split into five. Good job. Okay, let's have a look at Whitney's work. So Whitney is making a number pattern. Now we've had a look at some of these before. Now let's have a look at the numbers that we've been given. So we've been given six, eight, 10 and 12. Now I know that some of those numbers are in a particular times table. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a go and see if you can work out the other numbers missing from this number track. Off you go. Okay, well done. Here are the answers for you. So this was our two times table. Now we've been looking at our two times table a lot during this lesson. It is our even numbers. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Could you now have a pause the video again and have a look at this next part of the question. It says, which numbers greater than 40 could be in this pattern? So we're going to have to write down or think of our two times, uh, two times table and have a look at this word, greater. Remember, greater means larger, bigger than 40. And can you write any numbers down that are greater, bigger than 40? That would be in our two times table. Okay, well done. I've just put some examples up for you. So I've got 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. There are loads more. 52, 54, 56, 58. There are loads of numbers after 40 that are in our two times table. Okay, well done. We've made it to the end of this part of the lesson. So I would like you now to have a go at the rest of the worksheet that I have posted on Class Dojo. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your lovely work back and marking it. I'll pop some comments on the work as well. Um, let me know what you thought of the lesson. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and if you like doing maths this way, I know we're going to do something very similar for, uh, for English as well. Um, have a lovely day. I will um, see all of you on our Zoom on Friday again. And if you've enjoyed this video, then I will carry on uploading some of these during the week. Bye.